hey what is up guys you're watching Schmin's tech and yeah in this video i'm going to show you how to install flutter on your android studio and yeah this method will work on mac and windows both so yeah from now i'm starting a series of flutter apps making apps in flutter so for doing that first of all open your android studio and then just click on the configure button down there and then just click on plugins button and when you click on plugins button there will be an, another button called browser responsibilities just click on that and then search the flutter so i have already installed this plugin so just click and install it by yourself and then now search for a dart plugin this is the dart plugin upside there now install the dart plugin as well and after installing the Dart plugin, your Android Studio will ask you for restarting Android Studio. So just do that and again open the plugins folder and just check all the Flutter and Dart plugins. Uh, means it is checked or not. Just check that. And then just click on OK in the down right corner. Now after clicking on the OK button, you will land on this main screen of Android Studio. So after that just click on a new option start a new flutter project then select the first option flutter application and click next now you have to locate your flutter sdk path so in my case i already installed the flutter sdk so the path is already located but in your case you have to install the flutter sdk by just clicking on the install sdk button right there so you have to just click on that so in my case it is asking for the path because I already installed Flutter SDK but it will install in your case so after doing that just give your app a name so the default uh, name is flutter underscore app so I will just give it a name flutter underscore app 2 and then I will click next button so after clicking the next button it will ask a company domain or a package name for your app so I have given ashwinstack.com you can give any package name and after doing that just check the two boxes so the kotlin and swift support is enabled for your app now and now just click on finish button so after clicking on finish button it will create a flutter project so it uh, it will take uh, two to three minutes so just wait for the time and yeah thank you guys for watching this video and some more videos are coming in this series so stay tuned for that and yeah peace out